Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Guys, Coach Chris is back, and he's in search of a new racket again. Oh, this boy. Stay tuned. All right, good morning, everybody out there. Um, morning, Cup of Joe. Oh, from my man, Nathan Joe. Yeah, that's his name, Nathan Joe. Thank you, Nathan Joe, for my Cup of Joe. Uh, Nathan writes, greets, enjoy your coffee. Here's something I'd like to share with your, with you, excuse me, I'd like to share with you. When I was in high school, there was no YouTube. I could only try to search the net for whatever I could find regarding my favorite, Andy Roddick. Then came Bitterant. I download tennis videos to satisfy my interest for tennis. Due to budget constraint, my parents could only afford recreational racket for me. Once in a while, I would restring my racket with synthetic gut. Now, as a working adult, I have commitments, but thankfully, here you are, uploading YouTube videos daily, which I look forward to every day. Thank you. You're the best. Oh, buddy, Nathan, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Um, I guess all you enth tennis enthusiasts out there, um, you know, I'm like one of you. I just like the game. I like to talk about the game, and I'm thankful that I'm able to share the game with you. So, um, Nathan and everybody else out there, um, thank you for watching. Uh, I greatly appreciate it. Uh, if you want to support my coffee habit, network is buymeacoffee.com forward slash tennis spin. Thank you to the coffee tennis spin community out there. All right, guys. So as you guys know, Coach Chris uh, is back from Tunisia and he was getting outgunned out there is what he was saying. Like people were out hitting him. Surprise. Mm -hmm. Out playing him. Yeah. Mm -hmm, whatever. And, um, yeah, beating him. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Had to do it. And <laughs> so he came back and said, I need more racket. I need more power. I'm like, String your racket at 20. No, man. He said, I need, I need another racket that'll give me more power. And then I'm like, okay, well, do a little research and let me know what you want to do. All right. And so he did a little research and he called me and he said, I want to try an ultra pro ultra. Well, yeah, ultra pro, uh, 16 by 19, uh, in that Wilson, the, the lab line that they only have at wilson.com. So I'm like, I can't help you, buddy. You don't have to order that one from Wilson. So um, he's like, man, they only have halves in stock. So I went to my uh, my stash and I found him a Ultra Tour uh, version two. It only came in an 1820 back then. It was when they put Monfisa's name on it. I feel like that was eight years ago. Um, yeah, probably yeah, six years ago. <laughs> Time flies. And so I was like, I handed him the racket and he's now using it, thinking he loves it and that the 1619 will be better. Um, along came Artengo with this one. So I was like thinking maybe he'd like this and maybe we compare it to that. Let's do it. Let's get on the court. Let's grab Coach Chris and see if... Um, he likes the Wilson or the Artango, or if there's a difference. All right, see you on the court.
All right, so as you guys may know, Coach Chris is on a racket journey too. And since he requested the Ultra Pro 1619, and I had an Ultra Tour 1820 here, and I said, hey, try the Artango too, right? It's supposed to be very similar. So let's start with the Wilson, and then I'm going to hand Coach Chris the Artango. What would you think of that V1? of the 1820 Montfils back in the day. It's actually V2. V2? With the freaking A? <laughs> All right. So I stand corrected. It's V2 from from uh, Wilson Ultra Tour version 2. Okay? Coach Chris. So hitting with this, uh, like, I actually felt like the racket was quite responsive. Um, I did feel at times when I tried to hit a little bit with more pace, the beam would be a little bit more flexible, or probably due to like the way that the beam itself is constructed. So it did feel like a bit bendy in, in a certain times, but overall, like it held its own. Um, you know, I am definitely interested in trying out the Ultra Pro um, version three, it's whether or not they fix some of those stability issues. But again, it's a solid racket. Um, Definitely felt like, you know, do what I wanted to do with this one. So so how do we compare it with the uh, the new Artango? So the new Artango definitely has this, like, it's stable. It's definitely a lot more stable than the Ultra Tour version 2. Uh, I could definitely see how Monfils plays with this. It, you do get a lot of power off of it. But for me, the response that I want isn't quite there. I do like to feel the ball and the strings a little bit longer and I felt like the frame itself was a bit muted um, but they are they do play very similar um, but and they're both 18 by 20 so maybe trying a little bit more with a, maybe a different string because the string is like that's the stock string. that's the stock string so probably try it with a, a different string maybe to see it again but definitely worth to take a look at another look at for sure yeah I I actually I mean, I'm not as good as Coach Chris here, so I actually prefer the Artengo. It was a lot more stable and firm and easier to play with. This felt like a twig in my hand. It actually, um, what Coach Chris was referring to is this part down here in the throat is narrows down, therefore it, it causes it to bend more. So the I felt like the harder I swung upon contact, the more it bent, which is what it's supposed to do but I think it bent a little too much. So this one, as you can see, is a little farther apart, right? Therefore, it's a little more stable through here. So when I swung, it firmed up upon contact on the Artango one. Yep. So, yep. but Coach Chris, I think likes the head speed off of this, but I think he prefers a little more feel and um, just a hair more firmness which I think we're going to get uh, with the Artengo or the version 3 of this uh, eventually. So, I mean, I prefer this myself. I think Coach Chris would too when we uh, change the strings. Yeah, try it out. Yeah, so, uh, but yeah, they're very, very similar rackets though. Mm -hmm. Very, very similar rackets. I think V3 and this, probably identical. Yeah. Yeah, so I want to thank my man Coach Chris for hanging out with me today. Coach Chris, where can we find you? You can find me at CB Chan Tennis. That's it. That's it. All right. Guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Uh, is this on? Harry, Harry, what are we doing here? Oh, hey, bud. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, so I'm just setting up my swing vision over here so that during our hitting session, uh, we can, you know, see how bad I'm doing today. Okay, great. Yeah. But you won't be doing bad, Eric. No. You'll I'm... be moving your feet watching the ball. This, this is why I love you, buddy. <laughs>